in the event that you need to delete something, and you will need to delete something, uh, it's important to know that there are a few different shortcuts. Um, just like in Word, any word processing thing, uh, there is an undo button, just like or in MuseScore. It's the back arrow. It will undo the last thing that you did. Uh, if you know the keyboard shortcut for that, it's Control Z. Control Z will undo the last thing that you did. Um, but if, you know, it wasn't the last thing you did and you figure out you need to delete something, uh, it's as simple as just clicking on it so that it turns blue, like this accent here. I just clicked on this accent, turns blue, and you can push the delete button, not backspace, but the button that says delete, and it'll go away. Or, um, click on something and push control X, X is in xylophone, and it'll also go away. Now, if you, let's see here, um, if you're going along and typing in notes, you can also just push the backspace button and it'll delete the last note that you played or that you put in, as long as you haven't gone out of note input and done other things. So, and then I go and I want to put something else in. But then if I push backspace, it won't do anything. So, um, you have to be going along and inserting notes for the delete to work. So, mainly I like to use Control X um, and you can select whatever you want and get rid of it. Control X, Control X, Control X. Now, I can also select an entire measure. I just have to kind of click here in the middle of the staff in the middle of the measure, like that. If I click too close to something else in the measure, like this rest, it'll select that instead. If I click too close to the note, it'll select that. So kind of in the white space in the middle of the measure, selects the whole measure, push Control X, and it will disappear. Now, I wish that I wouldn't have done it because I just deleted the question that was supposed to be here. So be careful um, that you don't do that. Delete things that you don't mean to delete. But there is a redo button. I'm not sure why it's not letting me redo it, but um, sometimes you can. 